A-liner Escape ST. This one has the toilet and shower. battery box um, let's see so this is the, got the solar here and this is a cable jack fresh water connection outside outlets this is something for the, uh, for the hot, hot water heater. I believe it's some kind of a vent. And that's your uh, 30 amp hookup right here. Outside shower. Um, not sure what this is. I think this might be the vent for the kitchen fan or something like that. Or maybe this is. So it has a screen door, there's a handle over here for getting in and out, that's nice. Real light, which there's no battery hooked up to this, but that's a real light. So this over here is a shower, and um, I'm going to I'm just taking stuff out of my pockets. A shower and a toilet. This is a, um, a cassette toilet, Domenic. So, so can I stand up in here? Well, the answer is no, because of this step back out because of this high very high step and you know at, at six foot one and then with my shoes on of course I'm a little bit tall apparently this it's about six foot four in here um, the the height so I start to lose the ability to stand up when I get underneath the AC and right about here or so so roughly about the middle of the AC well let me now see like if I'm really standing up straight, then the AC pretty much um, uh, kills it for me. But my normal, a little bit slouched, and I could, you know, I could stand underneath this, you know, without feeling like I'm scrunching. So, as far as in here, taking a shower, um, you know, that's pretty much it. But, you know, you can sit here, sit here on the toilet, you know, grab this wand, just try to get clean. And it's nice because it's, it's better than not having anything in my opinion. Um, well, this over here is a fridge. So this is a fridge. And you got your uh, cooktop and sink. So this is the there's a the sink. So cooktop and sink and the exhaust fan and the light. And open space under the cabinet. 
I mean, in the cabinet, and it's really hot. Outside today is about 94 degrees, so I'm kind of out of the sun in here, but you know, these, these RVs are like a car that is, that's sitting in the sun and get just as hot. So this is nice because you can you can pull you can pull this over and and this over and these two connect and then this would be one one full bed. And I think it's like queen size or something like that or a giant full or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a bed expert, but that's what it is. Now, um, as far as sleeping here goes. see if I could if I could do this maybe if I put this here or maybe I can set this here I don't know this one. I can lay down here um, if I was padded if I had pretty thick padding, then maybe not as much because I, I mean, I have, right now my feet are hitting the back wall, not in a comfortable way, but they are, but I have like, I'm just a little bit like this of, um, of headroom. So, you know, RVs are pretty much, uh, are pretty much, uh, you know, easy for, for most people. I think that are like, if you're like five foot five or under, you're pretty, you'll be pretty comfortable in most things. But I'm gonna lay down just to, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I don't wanna put my head on it, but there's a little bit of space. Um, so there's a little bit of space, and my feet right now are hitting this wall. So if I was elevated and like here, so if I had some padding underneath my leg, so if I was like here, like maybe a normal thickness of some kind of mattress or whatever, um, I probably wouldn't be up. I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at all. So what I would have to do is I probably have to sleep on some kind of a, on some kind of an angle. Um, so I think over here. I mean, I think that if you're like. Five foot ten or so, I think you'll be all right. Um, but again, I think maybe if I my feet were here and my head was here, uh, maybe, maybe I'll try that. Let's see. So yeah, pretty much angled like this, this would be fine. I mean, you know, this would be fine. Of course, there's, there's headroom. Um, so, you know, there's plenty of foot room still in front of me. You can see the foot room where I am. Um, for one person, for somebody that's smaller, you know, this would be okay. Um, no, excuse me, for, for one person, for somebody that's taller, this would be okay. But if you're not, actually wait, no, the heat is getting to me. So if you're a taller person, this would probably be a good trailer for just you, or maybe you and maybe a small child, meaning taller like me. But if you're, um, you know, if, you, if you're smaller, you know, I'd say under 5'10", 5'9", 5'8", you're probably perfectly fine with two people sleeping sleeping on this bed so 77 77 inches and about 70 I would say 79 to the to the metal part of the, um, the, the step up let's, let's 
to a width measurement. Six feet, so it's about six feet, about six feet wide across this, uh, this cabinet section. So this is kind of small. So the opening is about 15, about 15 inches opening. Um, and then it does get a little bit wider inside. So maybe you're looking at 15 and a half inches. And so this looks like it's about 10 and a half. This is a tiny cabinet. Let's see if I get the tape measure in here. Um, looks like nine and three quarters. And the opening looks like about ten and three quarters, possibly. Top's about 42 inches. I'm gonna try to measure the shower. So let's see. Um, five. It looks like it looks like 68 inches. Maybe a little bit less. 67. Uh, 67 and a half, maybe. In height. And the width. It looks like it's just under 22 inches. And then from the end of the toilet to from the end of the toilet to the wall, it's about 18 and a half. And what I'm what I'm saying by the end of the toilet is right here. So from here to here, that's that measurement. So that's your A-liner escape ST. Seems like a nicely loaded trailer. And pretty much priced in line with a lot of other things like the scamps and I think the Rove Light and stuff like that are pretty much kind of priced pretty close to this. And then that's an awning.